Good evening y'all, howdy it's Plaxervo here and we're back for Prehistoric Planet Season 2 review and discussion. In today's video we will be talking about the 4 episode Oceans. I tell you now that there will be much spoiler ahead so stop watching this video if you haven't watched the 4th episode. So speaking of Oceans, uh, we know that the Oceans is the most vast area on this planet with the beautiful and bizarre creatures oceans can be gorgeous but also deadly in the first segment the first sea creatures we saw are prehistoric rays in the distance i believe rays been around since the jurassic then comes the mosasaurus hoffman lurking near the corals there was also a much smaller mosasaur the Phosphorosaurus. Phosphorosaurus have large eyes for a better vision that makes them nocturnal hunter, preying on lantern fish, the fish that can glow because of bioluminescence. I like the first segment, I just knew about the uh, Phosphorosaurus and how it becomes a nocturnal hunter unlike the under uh, Mosasaur. The lantern fish are, are also uh, so pretty with the neon blue bioluminescence. They made that to uh, distract the predators but not for the phosphorosaurus. And then we saw a large scale of swelling fish that become a magnet for Hesperonis. Hesperonis is a bird like dinosaur, they have no wings so they cannot fly but they are really good swimmer. They swim with their strong legs. They are primarily preying on fish. They catch them with their beak. Hesperonis had teeth on their beak. Uh, Hesperonis was a hunter until the uh, Cephactinus, a large predator fish like tarpon. Uh, they are the largest and fastest fish in the ocean. The Cyphactinus like to prey on the fish too, but Hesperonis would be a perfect meal. If they cannot get a food, they may become cannibal eating their own. Moving on to the next location, there was like a ton of ammonite eggs uh, swept in shore. The eggs were trapped in pool rocks because the water level receded and evaporated. It went bizarre when the ammonites hatched and trying to get back to the deep water. They combined as one uh, like a swarm, they pushing themselves to the ocean. I never have a thought of something like this, maybe there are evidence of fossilized uh, ammonites combined as one to make themselves into water. I will be looking more about this but you can tell me about it. Some ammonites uh, that didn't make it becomes a little snack for baby pyroraptor. Yes, there was a pyroraptor too. Moving to the Pacific Ocean, there was enormous atolls and lagoons as the sanctuary for the Elasmosaur Tuarangisaurus. They coming to uh they coming there to find food as there was plenty of it. We met again with the Mosasaur Hoffman, but this time it was targeting on the group of Tuarangisaurus. Something new I learned from the Mosasaurus is how they hunting. Mosasaurus is an ambush predator like crocodile. They can stay still until uh, get the right timing to catch their prey. So the Mosasaurus make a C shape to help boost their swimming to catch their prey. Although they are they are were large predator, but they can swim fast. Aside from that, back to the ammonites, they showed so many different uh, ammonites. The one I knew is Peculitis. 
there are more different shapes like there was a one that uh, the cell look looks like a paper clip called Diplomoceras and the weird one is the Nostoceras. They made the whole surrounding like heaven but under the sea. Another Elasmosaurus species in prehistoric planet is Mortuneria. They were mi migrating from South America to Antarctic. Mortuneria are warm blooded. They come to the Antarctic to find food source. They will stay there for the summer. What makes them special is they can filter the sand or mud and the food because of their weird looking teeth. So episode 4 Oceans is so insanely beautiful, mighty, fantastic and extraordinary. My favorite species in this episode is the Cyphactinus and my favorite scene is the uh, Heaven of Ammonites. They are so pretty and weird. The sea grass meadow as their home make like a heaven. I'm so impressed with the ocean. I learned many things in this episode such as the sea shape for the mosasaurs, uh, new species and uh, their behaviors. Overall, this episode uh, is amazing. I cannot wait for the last episode. So if you guys have any talk, question or anything you like to put in the comment below, anything you like to discuss it, just put in there. I would like to hear it from you and I will see you uh, next time. Auf Wiedersehen.